Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam satu Malaysia to my, all my friends and Puan Liana. So, my name is Muhammad Syauqi bin Muhammad Sobri with a metric card number of 07DEM20F1003. And so, as for today, we'll be presenting about workshop technology chapter 7, welding. And these are my group members. Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Ran Nadam and my matrix number is 07DEM20F1020. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Ainul Jaria Minti Azuddin. Hello, my name is Alan Isaac Daniel, matrix number 07DEM20F1004. So, the first one going to present is Aryan and the second one is Ainul, the third one is Alan and last is myself. So, enjoy and thank you in advance. Okay, what is welding? Welding is a fabrication process whereby two or more parts are fused together by means of heat, pressure or both forming join as the parts cool. Welding is unnecessarily used on metals and thermoplastic but can also be used on the wood. The computed weld join may be referred to as a weld mean. Uh, this is a real example of welding application. We choose the we choose this fire pit as our example of welding application. This product was created for grill on, pic on picnic day and this product is solid for long term use. Type of welding used in, in the application. The type of welding used in the application above is the metal inert gas MIG or metal active gas MAG. Welding are also known as gas metal arc welding. MIG are process that use heat created from a DC electric arc, arc between a consumable metal electrode and a workpiece which melt together to, to create a weld pole that fuses to form a joint. MIG or MAG is similar to SM, SMAW in that heat for welding is product, produced by forming an arc between a consumable metal electrode and the workpiece. The electrode melts to form the weld bed. The main difference is that the metal electrode is a small diameter wire fed through the contact tip from a wire feeding spool gun, while a, shil while, while a shielding gas is, is fed through the welding torch. As the wire is continuously fed, the mineral process is sometimes referred to as semi-automatic welding. MIG and MIG welding both welding both use use gas bottles to provide the shielding gas and compatible filter compatible filler materials. Thank you. I will continue for the basic concept of MIG welding. So number one is safety first. You need to make sure that you have the proper safety equipment. Number two the metal preparation. You need to clean down your metal before striking an arc. Number three is equipment preparation. Number four is wire selection. You can use an AWS classification ER70S3 for all purpose of welding. As for wire diameter, it depends of material thickness. Number five is gas selection you can use a 70% argon and 25% carbon dioxide for carbon steel so number six is voltage amperage it depends on numerous variables so number seven is wire stick out you need to maintain a stick out of three over eight or equals to 0 0.375 inch so number eight push or pull you can just add the push or pull technique but not that pushing usually offer the best the better views so number nine is travel angle so normally welding condition in all position call for a travel angle to five to fifteen degree so number ten is work angle it varies varies with 
each welding position and joint configuration so number 11 is flat position number 12 is horizontal position number 13 and is the vertical position the vertical up technique is beginning at the bottom of a joint and welding up and last but not least at number 40 is overhead position so draw drag push or perpendicular gun techniques can be used for welding overhead so that's all from me hello to miss liana and all my fellow friends today i will be presenting about the, this, the advantages and disadvantages of MIG welding. First, we will go over the advantages of MIG welding. Number one, MIG welding is fast. With any welding, the time taken has to reflect the difficulty of the joint and the quality desire from the finished weld. But all things being equal, if you put MIG welding up against the other popular form of welding, MIG is going to win most of the time. Number two, great penetration. This is because with MIG you can get great penetration to the depth of your weld and be sure of a strong smooth bead and best of all you can achieve this on a wide range of metal with different thicknesses such as aluminium, mild steel and magnesium etc. Next number three fewer stops and starts. This is because that continuously fed MIG electrode scores again when it comes to cutting down the number of times you have to stop and start during a job with stick welding or even TIG you will be stopping and starting as if you are in a rush out traffic number four no electrode stub loss this is because if you ever tried stick welding the when you finish your weld i guess there will be a little bit waste like this because it get too hot and the torch cannot hold the heat so you have to change but if you use mig mig welding you don't have to do that because the spool will keep feed 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 new electrodes every time you press the torch there there's a button number five mig works with many steels or alloy well mig is a special special form of welding because it can can be used to weld with other metals or alloys like stainless steel aluminum and mild steels alike number six mig welding is clean when i say clean not tig clean but mig has less patterning than gto and small like that next number seven weld setting if you use a mig welder well the machine you can manipulate the amperage to do more of a, a flatter if you want to do a flatter kind of weld you can you can lower your feed electrode speed to make it so that your weld is flat not b type that is the advantages of mig welding next we will go to the disadvantages of mig welding number one mig welding costs more to set up this is because MIG welding is uh, its repair and maintenance is at component level so you cannot replace the whole the whole machine if you broke it you have to replace it part by part and it it, and it is more costly if you how to say that you repair it by part by part because well parts number two more maintenance this is because when you do a lot of weld the electrode will inevitably be stuck on the nozzle of the mig torch it will blockage so mig welder will usually have to to maintenance to remove this problem number three the wind problem this is because mig welding doesn't really have good gas shielding so you if you have to do a weld operation in the middle field it's very hard to block the wind number four weird position because of the tricky weld happens to include vertical or overhead welding the high heat input and mobility of the weld puddle may means that you need to look at another welding technique number five portability now mig welding is not a huge machine but what makes it hard to carry around is the gas tank and the spool first the gas tank will weigh around over 45 kilo and the spool 
spool of wire will be around from 4 kilo to to do 27 kilo so in a nutshell mig welder will be having a lot of trouble when they are moving from another place to a new place number six burn through this because this because with certain materials not at least aluminum there is a risk of burn through oh, if your workplace is less than 0.5 mm up to a point your skill level may help you get around this but it's generally accepted that mig isn't best suited to very thin materials and lastly loss of gas this is because mig welding is that it needs a shielding gas to protect the world the reason is strategies is that depending on the situation is as it can be pushed away from the world if you would happen too much wind like i said from earlier if you are welding in a place there is a lot of wind you have to use a lot of gas and this case this can be a problem because gas the shielding gas is very expensive to buy so that's all from me thank you so now it's my turn to explain about types of joint can be found in the application and determine the joints and draw the symbol for the joints. So this is the product that we have chosen. So in this product, I found three joints, which the first one is lap joints, the second one is corner joint, and the third one is the T joint. So if you see here, the lap joints, there is the symbol for lap joints. Um, the welding used is fairly well, lap joints both sides of workpiece. And the corner joint, you weld at the other side of the work at the other side of the arrow, and the T joint you weld at the both side, and we are using MIG as in the picture. Okay, so now I will explain about the safety element, tools, and proce procedures during the welding works. So, welding safety precautions. Ensuring high levels of safety is vital when undertaking any welding activity. Ignoring your PPE and safe hooking practices can have serious repercussion and might even lead to fatalities. Therefore, you should follow the safety precautions that will be stated below to protect yourself at work. And the safety equipment, due to the use of electricity and high temperature, there are several pieces of safety equipment and procedures required. The safety equipment needed include gloves, a face shield and an apron. The glove will be will protect your hands from the electrical current as well as the molten metal. Be reminded, do not pick up the workpiece with your hands immediately after the welding. Even with glove, due to the extremely high temperature of the metal, the first shield is required to shield the eyes from the arc, and the apron is to shield against the possible splatter of molten metal. So now is a safety consideration, along with personal protective equipment. PPE, it is important that the proper safety measures are taken when setting up the equipment. It is important to make sure that the compressed gas cylinder is upright and secure during the use in order to prevent personal harm. You must also ground the workpiece in order to prevent the chance of electrocution. So now, first, welding helmet with side shield. Welding helmets protect you from UV radiation, particles, debris, hot slide, and chemical burns. It is important that you wear the right lens for the work you are carrying out, follow the manufacturer's guideline, and gradually adjust the lens filter until you have good visibility that does not irritate your eyes. You should also use fire-resistant hood to protect the back of your head. Now, fire-resistant clothing. Fire-resistant clothing protects you from the heat, fire, and radiation created in the welding. Process and shields you from burns. It should have no cuff, and pockets must be covered by flaps or tapered clothes. You should not use synthetic clothing. Instead, option for leather and flame-resistant treated cotton. Next is respirators. Respirators protect you from the fumes and oxides that the welding process created. Your respirator must be suitable for the work you are carrying out. Now, is a safety boots. Always wear leather work boots that comply with local safety standards. Welding specific work boots offer additional protection on the top of your foot, shielding your laces from sparks and protecting your metal tarsal from heavy objects. If you weld occasionally on the job, on the job, you might want to consider heat resistant leather spats. Spats can protect from sparks and splatter and aren't as expensive as welding specific boots. Now we are talking about glove. Glove welding is a tactile and ever comfortable flame resistant welding glove go a long way to facilitating a focus and productive welder. Protecting protection is a key. Your hands work in close proximity to the arc, exposed to intense heat and radiation. It also gives you additional protection from heat and spatter. Last but not least is apron. When worn beneath the jacket, a welding apron can offer additional protection for a welder's leg and chest. Now 
MIG Welding Safety Operation Use this as a basic welding safety checklist First, clean and organize work area Second, remove flammable liquids from area Third, check ventilation Four, remove any jewelry and loose clothing Five, inspect gas lines for leaks Now we move on to the operating MIG equipment First, clear work area from unauthorized personnel. Second, position the flash blind in order to protect any nearby personnel. Third, check cable position to avoid any damage due to sparks or materials that can fall. Fourth, check all equipment setting. Five, much of the risk from welding fumes and smoke can be reduced by using a shielding gas with a higher percentage of argon and pulse spray mode of transfer. Six, remember that wire feeder pushes wire, no need to push gun into the into out. Last, keep nozzles free of spatter. Spatter can build up an electrically connect insulated nozzle to a contact tube. A clean nozzle will have spatter fall off on its own. You can use an anti-spatter compound on nozzle and gun and contact tube. And whatever you do, do not clean the nozzle by pounding it on a hard surface. It can break and become damaged. Last but not least is a post operation. So first thing, you have to turn off the machine. Second, you have to firmly close gas cylinder. And last, return the welding gun to storage. And that covers all the parts that I need to talk. On behalf of my group, that is all from us. Thank you.